Hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I'm going head to head with Terminator 2, 1991. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers, and especially returning subscribers, so. T2, I'm so excited. We just watched Terminator uh, last week, you and I, and had a lot of fun. And I'm just saying because of the positive response I got from that movie and how much I enjoyed it, I decided to, of course, watch the sequel, Terminator 2, and not be slow about it either. I, I'm intrigued. I want to see where this goes. So I wanted to watch the follow-up uh, pretty soon. Plus, all you guys in the comments were just emphatic about how amazing it is, how much it's even better than the original a lot of you thought. And then there are also some strong opinions on theatrical versus extended release. And I feel like I am back with Lord of the Rings again, where I can do no right and only wrong in whatever decision I make. So this is what I have done. I have gone with theatrical and here's why. One, because I do believe in the theory that whatever was presented to audiences that they fell in love with at the time is what I should see as well so that I can fall in love with it also. But the other one is, this one was free. And the other one costs money. So, you know what? I'm on a budget these days. Shopping season's coming up for Christmas. So, we're getting the free theatrical version. And we will discuss in the comments the things that we missed from the extended. Uh, and you guys can make the case for me to watch that part on my own. But, yeah. I am ready to go with this. I will tell you guys, if you'd like to see the full unedited version of this reaction, the good, the bad, the ugly, all the stuff that I added out before it hits YouTube, you can find that over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave versus film. We have discord benefits over there, poll voting and more. So check that out. I love and appreciate all my patrons, but I certainly love and appreciate you guys here on YouTube as well. Please like, share, subscribe, but most importantly, leave those amazing comments like you always do because it's absolutely my favorite part. And last but not least, if we're not friends on Instagram, let's be friends. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. All right, boys and girls, be sure to stick around for the after party at the end of the reaction. But for now, let's grab our hymnals, turn to page 1991, and watch Terminator 2 Judgment Day. What do we say in movies? Slow motion means bad news. And here it is. God. Okay, so we're back to 2029 AD. It's still pretty horrific scenes, but like now having the context going into this one versus the last movie makes it a little bit more kind of understandable what's going on. Oh, a loud sound. And there's Skull Crusher again. I'm also looking forward, by the way, that reminded me to seeing the marriage of the practical effects the old school with the brand new you know cutting edge computer graphic kind of effects that'd be going on around this time the resistance was able to send a lone warrior a protector for john oh that's a cool transition it was just a question of which one of them would reach him first excellent lead-in that was a great opening Ooh, look, this is one of the inner city playgrounds right here Ooh, that's cool thumbs up for that I love how the first movie was just kind of alluding to, you know, the cyborgs. And we saw kind of images rolling out little by little. This is just full on in your face right from the beginning. I love it. It's too quiet. Oh, it's the lightning. The time travel express train. Still naked. Take me out of this place. Make my dreams come true. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> How do you know I drive a motorcycle? Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Do you not see what's happening to homeboy here? You thought that was a good move? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Take it. Oh. For real. It's not worth it. Ah, oh, excellent song. Oh, okay, he wants the sunglasses. I was like, woo. This is like a kinder, gentler Terminator. Like in the last one, he would have totally just shot that guy and then the Leonard Skinner fan club would be a new president, you know? But no, he spared him. All right, so somebody else arriving then. Robert Patrick, that's the guy's name I couldn't remember. 
who I knew was in one of these anyway. And when I didn't see him in the last one, I was like, oh yeah, it must be the second. Tushy. Oh, and bits and pieces. Wow, James Cameron's not afraid to put it all out there, is he? Oh, here we go. How it's like upgraded though from the phone book of the first one, right? Oh, he's got guardians. Okay. And is it just like coincidental that the Terminators always run into cops and then take over their identities? Or are they supposed to seek out cops because they're, you know, authority figures in the in the world of, of yesterday or whatever? Come on, get your ass inside. Do what your mother tells you. Oh, he's the bad boy, right? I'm not my mother, Tom. Oh, yeah. He's totally the bad boy. He is like one year away from being at Beverly Hills 90210. Is this Sarah? Is she like in prison or psych facility? Oh, Dr. Silberman or Silverman, one of you, I can't remember. Violent acting out, delusions of persecution. <sighs> she's gonna be a bad bitch, right? Like she's totally gonna be a bad bitch in this. Was a soldier sent back to protect her. Morning, Sarah. Good morning, Dr. Silverman. Yeah, bad bitch. He's a good looking boy. There was a guy here this morning looking for him, too. Yeah, a big Ooh. guy on a bike. Arnold. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay. Please so then, hard now. if this goes just like the last one, then Arnold is the Terminator looking for him, and the cop is trying to protect him. But you never know his sequels. Who'd you learn this stuff from, anyway? From my mom. My real mom, I mean. Is that her? Oh, the picture. She tried to blow up the computer factory, but she got shot and arrested. Total loser. Teen angst. Teen angst and feeling so conflicted about his mom. Obviously, stop the sign, kid. <laughs> Dream. <laughs> I know the day that happens. Good acting from Linda. You're the one living in a fucking dream, Silverman. Because I know it happens. It happens. She's like, okay, I'm going to agree. That looks bad when you're looking from this angle. But, you know, he's very upset. You said that if I showed improvement after six months, I could have visitors. She wants to see her son, right? Like that's her driving motivations, her son. Forward to seeing my son. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Dyson, the materials team is running another. Mr. Dyson. Yes. Oh, the actor Joe Morton. I don't know why, but at some point, Mark and I, I think during the scandal days started calling him the actor Joe Morton. So now every time we see him, we have to call him by his official title, the actor Joe Morton. Good morning, Mr. Dyson. How's it going? super secure like, always loving these kind of movies where the only people that have access are the highest level of government security and the cleaning lady I'm liking the foreboding tone and the very deliberate pace so far he's in great danger he's naked without me afraid not not for a while she's gonna lose it oh she's gonna lose it you get between a mom and her kid <laughs> Model citizen. Well, she's under some stress. Let's be honest, okay? It's not like she had her car declined at Target. I mean, she's just, you know, been through some real s. What's that? Flowers? Oh, it's. I got his gun in there. Do you know this guy? Nah, I don't know. That's the answer. Good job, kid. Like, you can tell his mullet is legit. Like, his mom cut that at home. That's like a real mullet. That's not some super cuts knockoff. Hey, man, there's this cop scoping for you. Check it out. <laughs> I mean, we all want to. Hey, you're not supposed to be. Was that like adult Fuller with his Pepsi? I knew the gun was in there. Get down. No. Oh. Oh. Look at the silver. Ah, oh, Fuller. Sorry, buddy. Wrong place, wrong time. Oh. Oh, he's like totally going Annie Wilkes on him with a shotgun. Dang. I'm liking the effect so far. How he can just completely morph back into what he was in, in the beginning, clothes and everything. Damn kids. Oh, Lord. Oh. 
poor guy. He's just trying to make his schedule. Hey, and kudos to James Cameron, by the way, because you guys told me that Terminator, the original, was low budget. I assume this was not low budget. But the Terminator, the original, didn't have a huge budget, and I would have never guessed that with the quality. But this one, I can tell, had a bigger budget. Jesus. Hall ass kid. So he's the bad Terminator, in other words. Unless they're both coming for him. But if they make Arnold, Arnold, the good guy in this one, he's the protector. I'm gonna like that. And that will line up more with what I'd always thought with the Terminator being a good guy, not a bad guy. Like I, I realized in, in the first movie was not the case. Oh, shit. did his head get knocked off? Oh, oh, nothing, nothing takes him out. Oh. If that wasn't Arnold, that looked like Arnold, unless that was a little CGI too, because that didn't look like a stunt guy. That looked like him. Oh. Go dirt bike. I like that gun. That's a cool shot. And I love explosions. You all know that from the first one. But whatever form the insurance guy was filling out for that 18 wheeler, oh, he just had to add three more pages. Oh, look at that. Like a metallic phoenix rising from the flames. Not a bad action sequence, I gotta say. You're like a machine underneath, right? But sort of alive outside. Living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. So, yes. My mission is to protect you. Who sent you? You did. From the future. Okay, good. So he's a good guy. Good. This reconciles, as I was pointing out earlier, the conflicts I had with the first one where I was surprised he was bad. A T-1000. Advanced prototype. Oh, that's a challenge. Nothing bad ever happens at the liquor store. John, it's late. Honey, I was beginning to worry about you. Something's wrong. She's never this nice. Oh, the liquid metal. What the hell is the goddamn dog barking at? He, he's pretending... Hey! To be, because they said the dogs in the first one can always tell the machines. Honey, are you okay? I'm right here. I'm fine. It's like, two can play that game, bitch. What are you? If first the parents are dead. <laughs> the, the bedside manner. He's honest and correct. Wow. I am not going to lie. That's cool. That that's good. That's not like just 91 good. That that's a good effect. This thing can imitate anything it touches. It can't form complex machines. Guns and explosives have chemicals, moving parts. It doesn't work that way. I like that we're getting more explanation on how they are and what they are. I just sat here and told you that your son is missing. We know this guy's involved. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Sure. Rookie mistake. You learn your rules from Sons and Lambs, paper clips, pens. Staples. Come on, guys. You have to do what I say, huh? That's one of my mission parameters. Oh, that's like a kid's, like, dream. You're not a Terminator anymore. You just can't go around killing people. Why? Yeah, you understand. I like the buddy kind of, like, the levity they're giving here. A little bit of comedy, you know? The connection between Arnold and little Eddie. I'm going to go get my mom, and I order you to help me. Okay, let's see. We got our best men on it. Oh yeah, they're locking her down. You know when they bring the seatbelt in, it ain't good. Oh! Ooh, this is state hospital. This is not private. All jokes aside, that's gross. Something tells me too, like, when she busts out of there, and she will, this motherfucker is one of the first to go down. Trouble just walked in in a size 31 waist. Making my comparisons like I did in the first one with Halloween, I, I, I get a very Halloween 2 feeling right now where Jamie Lee's in the hospital and it's just the normal staff are there for a little while, right? But then <laughs> deteriorates very quickly. Oh, trippy. Oh, that's something else. Hey, Gwen, you want some coffee? How about a beer? I'm with you, Gwen. Oh... That's some cool effects right there. Oh. Ow! 
Lewis on Lewis crime. I mean, this is tricky because he could just be anywhere. Like I thought I, w- I was tripping out enough whenever the first one, he was just doing the voices. This is full on taking over the body, the look, the voice, everything. Oh, oh, that's right. This is why you don't lick people. Oh, she got the 87 keys of the kingdom now. Yeah, he's like, I've had enough of Lewis. Now don't move. <gasps> the liquid rooter. Ooh, girl. I mean, you brought this on yourself too. You didn't lick her, but abuse of a different kind. Hours is 10 to 4. He didn't kill them. He'll live. <laughs> he's never gonna use the stairs again, but he'll live. Get back! I'll pop him full of this shit, I swear. She's good at this. She's like a, a natural. I mean, I don't know if I'd be bragging about it, but you know, it's working for her right now. Oh God, careful, Sarah. This. Oh. Get her, get her. Oh no. Oh God, I thought it was other dude. I thought it was Mercury guy. Oh, she thinks he's gonna kill her. Cause she's thinking about the old Terminator. He's a kinder, gentler Terminator now, Linda. Help her. Wait here. Kill us all. No! Yeah. Oh, Weigel, she got a hit in. And she got hit back. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, okay. See, this is making a lot more sense now because I had heard that line before, but I did not know why it would be so well known from Reese in the last movie. But now. Ta da. Ah, the shades. Damn. Oh, f me. That was like a Reynolds rap explosion. Look at that. That's crazy. Yes, definitely the special effects were well done. For this time period, heck yeah. If I forget to say it in the after comments, this is when... I'm very impressed of how they've, they've switched Arnold from the bad guy to the good guy. You don't see that a lot. And I, I like that this was done so well. <laughs> wow. And I like how it kind of takes the shape of the Oscar, like the Academy Award, you know, like, like hint, hint, mother <laughs> you know, give us one of these for effects. And also, was this one of his first roles as well? I already forgot his name. I swear to God, I'm off my game today. Robert Patrick, is that his name? But yeah, because I don't remember him really before this either. Oh, he got the crowbar mode on. Yeah, drive. <laughs> that happens to her a lot, right? And I love that this is LA, so like no one notices. They're like, it's fine. It's just Thursday. <gasps> that was a dick. John, you have to be smarter than that. You cannot risk yourself even for me. Do you understand? It's a lot of pressure though for a kid to try to grasp. I had to get you out of that place. Yeah, because he just wants his mom, right? What's wrong with your eyes? Nothing. Aww. So what's your story? Me on a date. How long do you live? 120 years with my existing power cell. My CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. I see this all sounds very like normal terminology now, like with CPU and stuff like that, but I'm trying to flash back to 91 and I was little, but like, while not a lovely man to work with, James Cameron does seem like a stickler for detail as much as possible, that he would want his movies to be scientifically accurate and you know, Legit as far as that goes. The station wagon, you just can't keep them apart. You know what I mean? Keep it under 65. We don't want to be pulled over. Maybe it's a station wagon, it only goes 65. You gotta listen to the way people talk. You say, no problemo. And if you want to shine them on, it's hasta la vista, baby. Ah! Oh! Hasta la vista, baby. Nice. I mean, obviously I knew this came from these movies, but there it is. Oh, 
they're fake guns. Okay, so they made it out of LA. I need to know how Skynet gets built. The main most directly responsible is Miles Bennett Dyson. Mm. In three years, Cyberden will become the largest supplier of military computer systems. Like Reese was saying, military, military tech systems. Enrique, estás aquí? Oh, 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 hey everybody. Settle down, we're all friends, we're all friends. Yolanda! Vengan que visita, carajo, traigan el pinche tequila. Yeah. She always plans ahead. So I just thought that's how people live. Oh, he's loving all this artillery, right? Or artillery. All these great weapons. Look at that, he's happy. He's like, yeah. There's this one guy, he was kind of cool. Mom well, screwed it up, of course. Wish I could have met my real dad. See, that's the thing, too. Does the future change? Because Reese was alive in the future, but then he died back then. I was a little muddy on that, too, by the way. Why do you cry? You mean people? Yeah. I don't know. Why does he care? Is he, is he starting to feel? Or is it just he's programmed to just seek information? All right, my man! No problemo. Oh, he's learning. The Terminator would never stop. Of all the would-be fathers, this machine was the only one who measured up. So sad, but yeah. Damn, Crocodile Dundee. It's a big old knife. This Terminator definitely feels more hearty. And I mean, literally, like, of the heart. Like, I, it, it's like you feel in this one more. You know, the first one I feel like was such a great concept and, like, neat details and storylines but this one i really get the feeling that james cameron wants you to feel something when you watch it oh she's seeing herself back when she had that horrible hair not nearly the badass mode that we see here ah! oh the nuclear fires wow it's like everything we saw in the beginning only like to the max houston summers baby this is June. Oh my God. Okay, that was good. And I've seen that meme before. I didn't know that's what this was from, obviously. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. No fate. Mom! Mom, wait! I mean, who else can make a station where I can look that badass but Sarah Connor? There's no fit but what we make for ourselves. She intends to change the future. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Dyson. Yeah. So that's what she's up to. T-1000 has the same files that I do. It might anticipate this move. Ah, clever. Killing Dyson might actually prevent the war. Haven't you figured out why you can't kill people? How I look at most kids. Danny, I told you to go to bed now. I'm not kidding. Uh oh, not good, not good. <gasps> this is why I gotta close your blinds, actor Joe Morton. Ah. Oh no! We haven't finished making all our payments on this computer. Fire! Run! Run! Oh my god! Yo, my god, no sh bitch, it's not good. The only thing between your husband and bullets is like a desk set he got from service merchandise. Nobody Daddy, fucking move! Don't hurt my daddy! Get it on the floor, bitch. Fuck it down now! She's like a Terminator. It's all your fault. Motherfucker, it's all your fault. Oh, no. It's too hard for her. She sees the humanity. Oh, that's a great shot. <gasps> Linda Hamilton is bringing it in this movie. <laughs> See the kid from Bodyguard? Rachel Marin's son. You're something out, okay? I really love that this movie is dedicating time to the mental effects that everything she's been through would have on her. I love you, John. And Linda Hamilton is just doing such an amazing job portraying that. Who are you, people? Sean. Danny, I want you to come with me right now, okay? Uh, no. If I was the kid's parent, I'd be like, uh, f*** that, Danny. You stay right here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I know it's fake, but still. <laughs> Sound effects. Oh my god, it just rips it right off. Oh. That's crazy cool. Listen to me very carefully. You, you have my attention, metal hand. You're judging me on things I haven't even done yet. That's true. That's tough. How are you supposed to know? Fuck 
Men like you. Mom! We still have to stop this from happening. Good job stepping up. We have to destroy all the stuff at the lab, the files, the disk drives. Can you get us in? Past security? Now? Yeah. We were in uncharted territory now, making up history as we went along. He's like, don't make me get up, guys. Come on now. Carl, right? <laughs> Mr. Dyson, now you know the rules concerning this. By the book. <laughs> This man showed up for orientation, and then now he's like, uh, okay, but this wasn't in the binder. Gibbons, come on, man. Gibbons. Dude, Gibbons is tied up. Oh, and in front of the urinals, right there where it, all the pee drops? That's just wrong. What? The silent alarm's been tripped. The whole place is shut down. Yeah, everything's like down. Let me try mine. Oh. Yeah. Good God. Wow. Oh, sh you know, I guess that's another reason why they want to like always impersonate cops or take police vehicles because they hear all the updates. What is set? One more barrel. Jesus Christ. You got company. Yeah, they're like getting double overtime. Of course they're all there. They're like, I hope we stretch this shit out all night. I'll take you off the police. Hey, wait, you swore. Trust me. The Terminator who cares. I'm digging this Terminator. Oh, Ooh, oh not the tree. Okay, this is just gratuitous and I'm here for every second of it. This was like a meeting, right? Where they were like, James Cameron, do you really need three more exploding police cars? And he's like, yes I do. The movie will not make sense otherwise. All right, now in order to get that out, you have to just bite. Kids. Time to go, now. Oh God, why the slow motion? Slow motion's never good. No! Ah! They got the actor Joe Morton. Mom! Fuck. Oh, he's breathing like me when I used to be fake crying as a kid. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. <sighs> Go back! Anybody out? Yeah. See? That's explosion. Good job. The war zone down here. They blew this building to hell, whatever this building was. Oh sh another showdown. Stay here. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not killing like John said. He's just crippling all of them, but still. He's not killing them. I like that aspect, the way they worked that in. Just like he said, I'll be back. And then he comes in just like he did at the police station. No! How's he know though? I guess like Arnold was saying, he can like sync up with the same information he has. I swear to God. I feel like there are so many scenes in this movie where there was the original plan and then there was after they got the budget increase. And then like James Cameron was like, let's just go crazy with all this. Get out. Damn. No matter what happens, you stay under these vests. You got it? Yeah. Chopper's coming in. It's him. Oh, wow. This should be good. Sarah, show me a f That's right, buddy. You express your frustration. Who cares? There's a f fight going down. You're maintaining your lane. Ah! Oh, oh sh
Look at the bullet holes. Oh, look at him trying to help out. Bless his heart. Damn. You are right. Oh, oh no. Aw. Oh. That's the end of that guy. Uh, are you hurt? Well, we ain't whistling Dixie. Yeah. Not good. Oh, Jesus. Liquid nitrogen. Why wouldn't it be? We need your truck. Hey. Praise the Lord. Jesus, take the wheel. Wow. There's just one thing after another. This, this movie has action. Like the first one did too. It never felt boring. But my God, this one is just boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, me. Aww. That was custom too, that poor little doggy house. Excellent filming though. This is a, a crazy scene. Very well done. And that's really well done. Don't stop. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> right? Good lord. That was a lot. Two glasses of wine and a nerve pill kind of stress. And I'm loving the liquid nitrogen angle. That's that's something new. Freeze them up. The metal. Surprise, surprise. This is next level. This would be like in 91. Like, I have to come back and see this movie like three more times in the theater. That's like how good it is. Hasta la vista, baby. <gasps> there it is. It can't be that easy, though. Oh, it'll melt it back down, right? This is really clever. Let's go. <gasps> Mercury rising. Hurry! <sighs> After all that, he's still just right there. Come on, this way. Wait, no, no, it's too hot. Oh God, yeah, that's me at the hot tub. You got to go now. John, go now. No! You have to protect him. No! Oh, God damn it. This is the fight I've been waiting for. Oh, badass. Oh, badass, sir. Oh, oh, my God. Machine versus machine. Dude, oh man, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, girl, come on. Mom, come on! Mom, mom! Oh, don't do this now. Don't, uh -uh, I don't want to see this. If they kill off Sarah and he has to see it, I don't care for that. Where's Arnold? Oh, he had his, we had his arm and he got pulled off. So like, where is he? He should be here by now. Oh. No, okay, well, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Call to John now. Fuck you. <gasps> Sarah Connor. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I was wondering where you were. Yeah, he's not holding back. Arnold's acting has improved. Look at it. I, I feel it. Fuck. Game over. Because the red eye went out. Aww. And look how much better the effects have gotten since 84. Remember his face in that one? And I will really respect it if he doesn't come back in the end. Like if they just, like if that was just the end of him just now, you know, you don't, you don't often see that. So. <gasps> but there it is. There's the spark. But I'm not unhappy. I'm glad to see him. Oh, yeah. Don't fall for that, John. John. No, oh, it's not your mom. Help me. See? Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, very death becomes her. <laughs> Bitch is strong. Oh, here we go. 
No, no, every time with these movies they do this. It's a good villain move though. What? What is it? What's left of Arnold? I got one red eye and two barrels, bitch. Damn. Oh, look at that. If they hadn't won the Oscar until now, this was the scene. Good God. Oh wow. oh, wow. Okay, 12 people were assigned to this part of the special effects. Yeah. I need a vacation. <laughs> Look at him making jokes. There's one more chip. Where? In him? Oh. I cannot self terminate. You must lower me into the steel. No. I'm no. sorry, John. I'm sorry. That's like emotion, though, right? I'm sorry. If he's saying I'm sorry, that's. I know now why you cry. Oh. Then see how he hugs back and. I don't know, I get the feeling it's like he feels. He's not just like Duracell on acid, you know? Even that's good. Effects wise, I mean, you know, like, wow. Oh, nice. Thumbs up. Oh, and that's great the way they show it from the red, the red screen. I love that. Very nice, very nice. I don't know, I feel like there's always another shoe to drop. The unknown future rolls toward us. Oh no, voiceover. It's done for good. A Terminator can learn the value of human life. Maybe we can too. Wow! You guys weren't wrong. That was a badass sequel. Okay, so I had a big baby join me because it's her bedtime, so she's ready to go downstairs. But just real quick, I want to say, it's really difficult for me to pick one over the other. That's where I wanted to start because so many of you said that you loved this movie more than the first one. Uh, but you didn't say it like, I felt there was some hesitation, let's just say. That like you want to give the original its respect, but you probably prefer the second one. And I get that emotion. Because for me, I have to say, yes, uh, being conditioned as a modern audience goer, I do probably gravitate towards the second one. You know, the effects were just insane. The acting was at its at its top. I mean, Linda Hamilton alone was so great. Arnold did great too, though. Edward Furlong, I, I think this is one of his first movies, and so he did amazing. But yeah, I have to give it to this one. But the first one establishes everything, you know? The first one is the original, and there's a lot to be said for that. So... Kind of in a Sophie's Choice type thing. I can't pick one over the other. Um, they both have their values. Uh, and I definitely want to see the extended version of the second one to kind of, um, you know, witness the things I missed by not watching that. But like I said in the intro, this one was free. It was the one you guys all saw in the theater. So I just kind of figured this would be the best one um, to watch. But let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what I missed. Uh, all the behind the scenes I'm interested in. And I'm talking about everything from the acting to the drama to the effects. Anything. All that stuff is good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day slash night. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble.